Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to you all wherever you are in the world. My name is Nick Brand and these are my Italian one take property tours. <laughs> right then, a couple of you people, wonderful people last week said to me, Nick, these properties of 2024 are absolutely fantastic, but we can't afford them. Well, I can't afford them either. <laughs> Can you show us something in a lower price range? Now, last week on Friday, I had a chap who I know, who's very nice, and he purchased a property with his friend 20 years ago. And they were going to restore the property and put it back onto the market, and that never happened. And he called me up and he said, Nick, I want to sell the house. I just want to sell it. Now, I've been in the real estate business for quite a long time now, either developing properties, buying and selling, all with my Italian real estate company. And when somebody tells me that, my little ears prick up and I go, hmm, that's interesting. And today I am going to give you an opportunity to tour this building, which I think with a little bit of work, you can move into straight away. And if you are good with your hands, you can create the most wonderful Italian abode. Are you ready? Let's go. Oh, by the way, there's a couple of things which I would like to say. Firstly, Lara in Canada, L-A-A-R-A, -A -A, a lovely name. You have been a subscriber of this channel for an awful long time and you just write beautiful comments and I just love receiving them, so thank you. And the other person I would like to say a big thank you to this week is Alicia. You and your son have been watching my videos and last week you said, Nick, you have merch, where is it? Now, it is on my home page in YouTube. You just need to click on store and then you will be able to buy a Hug the Tree t-shirt and the camera will adjust. Thank you, Elisa and son. Unfortunately, I don't know your name. And uh, on with the tour. Now, I've just stepped back from the car so we can walk up and I can show you the gates. And it's the afternoon and we've probably got about half an hour of sunshine left so I'm going to have to crack on. Now some obviously some work's been done because you've got these galvanized gates which have been put up at one stage. The land is approximately 9,000 square meters Ooh. <laughs> and um, the grass hasn't been cut and I hope I don't fall over. Now there is a barn on the right hand side and uh, yeah, what are we going to do, Nick? <laughs> First of all, I'm going to show you this just phenomenal oak tree, and the sun setting behind it, and you can see the property in the distance, and it just sits on its own, own little knoll. Now, I think, what are we going to do, Nick? I think we're going to do this barn festival. Now, this, with planning application, can be turned into a guest house, and the Square meterage um, is, I think, 274 square meters in total and a 15 square meters of covered area. Now, I'm not going to go in here, and you might ask me why. And if I pull down and the camera will adjust, you'll be able to realize why. Now, there are two floors, and if we get time, I'm going to go down and have a look, but if I get the camera inside there, oh, there's a bee day. <laughs> um, you will see that I really don't want to step on this flooring. I really don't. It's got what I will tell you is a new roof on this section at some stage, because they are not the original tiles, but I mean, it's a lovely space. It's about 48 square meters in total. Now, I don't know when this was built, but I will tell you 
it's got to be at least two or three hundred years old. And if I come up here, you know, this would have been a farm building and you would have had, I can see that they've got wood for their fire and I can see basically some holes in the roof. As I said, it needs work, but this you can put off to a later stage. And if we come round, oh, look at the sky. Oh, really? Uh, you can see the original walls. Um, and I mean, look at this, the camera's going to adjust right now. And as it does, oh, handmade. Beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Right, if we get time, we're going to go down and have a look at that other room below. So, but let's crack on because I want to show you the main house and the vista as well. Now, as I said, it sits on nine thousand square meters um which is just under a hectare and uh, i think i need to get out of the sunlight so the camera will adjust but oh, let's put it into the sunlight because as the sun goes down yeah you, know, you can see the view over the umbrian and tuscan countryside today i am in umbria and I am looking at Tuscany. Oh, what a tree. Oh, we just don't have time to hug it. Oh, maybe later. What a view, what a position. Now, we are approximately 30 minutes from Cortona, and we are about 30 minutes from a town in Umbria, which is called Umbertere. Stone built farmhouse needs work yeah wait till I tell you the price at the end right now I know about five years ago somebody used to live here let's get up these stairs yeah it's it's a classic rustic farmhouse because um it's all got the original mangers downstairs and they are absolutely beautiful. Now we're out of the sunlight, and I see whether this camera will adjust to give you the view. Oh, let's hope so. Oh. Yeah. Stunning. You can hear a pin drop. Absolutely. Right, I'm gonna come back, and there's nothing in the house, and you will or you, you will be getting some echo as we go in. Right, through the front door. And what I can see immediately is a beautiful fireplace. I can see some lovely square 15 centimeters by 15 centimeters tiles. And I don't think they're original. I think they've been put on but I will tell you right now, with a little bit of work and a bit of spit and polish, they will be absolutely beautiful. Now, there is some evidence over here of a sink. Now, this property has electricity. It has a well. And it is completely fenced. So in from the kitchen we go, and then you immediately go through into a reception room. And it's not huge. It's got lovely windows. I mean, you've got a beautiful sunset. Also, what I can see in this room are radiators. So at one stage, this would have had a central heating system. The boiler is no longer here. So you need a boiler. And as I said, you know, with a, a little bit of spit and polish, and a little bit of hard work, I think that this house can be livable in a, in a matter of weeks. Oh, I love the flare coming through there. I pull across here, you can see, and I do like that color, that the windows are double glazed. Can you see the silver strip down? Yeah. So you've got double glazed windows. You've got new flooring. You've got a potential of a central heating system. You have new electrics. Oh, it's just cozy. Oh, I'll just show you that as well, look. 
if I come down here, there's a internet company um, and they work on repeaters and I don't know why they have that blue cable, but they do have that blue cable. And that is for the internet. So there is, well, you just phone the company, they'll come over and, you know, you could have internet within a couple of weeks. Not even that. The doors have been painted to match the windows. And I like the way that uh, the skirting board, and we call that in this the batter scopper. And I like the way that it's much higher. I'm doing it at my house at the moment. And um, we're just deciding uh, how high it should be. I think personally that's probably a little too high, but you never know. I mean, it's got to be 30 centimeters, doesn't it? So this, I would have thought, would either be a very nice dining room. Again, as we pull around, we've got streaming light coming through and the setting sun, a very nice radiator, which is in the corner. And again, you know, the walls have been painted and they are ready to go, really. Yes, they are. Right, so, kitchen, living room, dining room, back into the return of the kitchen, and then this lovely fireplace as well. Yeah, great. Yeah, it's, it's great. I love the way that the room's all been painted. Now it looks like it's had a concrete screed put onto the ceiling, which is very good. Can you see that flue on the top right hand side? That could be a wood burning stove. And then if we come down here and we turn left, now obviously there's no electricity in this house, so we're gonna do the best we can with what we got. And uh, it might be a bit fuzzy, but uh, hey ho. And then we come in here and then you've got this wonderful larder. I suppose if you didn't want all this space, you could potentially have another bedroom in here. Yeah, you could quite easily have another bedroom where you've got built-in cupboards, logical, lots of electrical points along the top. No, it would be a, just a wonderful prep room. You could have your fridge in here. Yeah, it's, uh, it's perfect. If you were a cook, you could have all your produce. I mean, you could grow your own vegetables in the garden. Oh. Yeah, it's, you know, there are a lot of ruins in Italy and uh, I think that this one really has had enough work done to it to make it habitable in a very short period of time. So you come into a lobby area and if I pull back the camera, I go into the corner. Again, you've got a very nice window and a built-in closet. And then if we come down here, you've got a bathroom, somebody has taken the sink, but that wouldn't take too long to put a new sink in there and I can see the taps. I don't know why they turn them up. Maybe so the water doesn't drip, but the water must be off, so I have no idea. So we, there's some very nice little details as well. You know, like these little tiles which have been put on. Yeah, I would keep those. Absolutely. And then there is no bidet. Yeah, that was one of Alicia's comments that maybe I should have a t-shirt saying, no bidets. <laughs> and then you have a bath. I can see the two outlets for the taps. Um, and I can see lighting. And I can also see a, 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 a like a, um, what is it? It's a piece of rope, which has a bell on it. So if you, fall in the bath and they are obligatory in Italy. Now we go into here and you've got well, just a super bedroom with a, just a wonderful view. I think those bars are a later addition and you know what, I would probably take them off. I, I, just, I just don't need them. But if I step back into the corner, you will see that this is a absolutely lovely room for a nice big bed and some additional wardrobes and here if I come down you've got the original terracotta flooring. Yeah, it's nice isn't it? 
It's really nice. Absolutely. Right, so, uh, if you want my opinion, 25,000 and you will be in. New boiler, new kitchen, little spruce up, new sink, clean, a paint, and there you have it. Your own little abode in Umbria with this just most outstanding view. Now, if you wanted to do a bigger restoration, then we're going to take you down and I'm gonna show you the other spaces as well. Yeah, absolutely lovely. Come on, let's get down the stairs. Right, back into the setting sun. Oh, setting sun, and I don't know whether you can see this, but just above the barn, it's almost a full moon. Oh, isn't that beautiful? No, oh, wonderful. Now, as I mentioned, uh, this house is uh, all fenced, and the land is much bigger than the fenced area itself. Very nice stonework. I can see some copper drain pipes above. Oh, just gotta get over the brambles. Oh. And then in we go. Now, there are some good things. And the good things are, is that there is a steel beam which has been put over. And that is jolly important. The other good thing is that the electrics down here have already been put in. And the other good thing is that if I come up here and you will see a yellow cable or tubing, and that is gas. And then you have the green, two green piping, and that is for your water and your central heating system. You've got a sink. Again, oh, how romantic is this? And then there's those beautiful doors as we walked in. And just in this corner here, and I don't know where the, where the well is, but I will tell you that that system just down here is a purifier coming in from the well and a pump as well. And as we come up, you will see the electrics, which I think is for the well pump. Now, if you were going to spend more money and you wanted to do a full restoration, then you can potentially incorporate the ground floor and turn it into a habitable space. But it wasn't very long ago that you would have had your animals tethered to your manger in this building. Yeah, <laughs> really wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Now, you know, again, I hate to, well, I, mean, I don't get excited about it, but you know, this has had a lot of work done to it. And uh, to get to this condition. <laughs> and again, if you plastered these walls, and if you put a staircase, and you brought this down and you changed the angle of the flooring, there is a very good possibility that you will be able to create just such a wonderful big kitchen. Yeah, it's just, it just would be absolutely beautiful. Now, moving forward into another area. And then you've got another manger in here. It's quite dark. And I think I probably would want to turn this into a bathroom. And then as we come round, 
you come into a very big garage area. Now this is new. Yeah. Let me pull up. Step back from that 40 over there. Yeah, it's had a steel put into it. It's got surface mounted electrics and it's got a garage door at the end. And well, well maybe I would turn this into the kitchen and then I would have a lovely door at the end and um, leading out into the garden. We're gonna get out into the garden in a second. Now, a lot of the farming in this area is tobacco. And we are going to be stepping into, I don't know what we can do in here, but we are going to be stepping into a tobacco tower. <laughs> the owner has some of his belongings still. Oh, we're not going to see that. I don't have my torch. We're going to see what the camera would do for us. Now, there used to be slats going across, and what they would have done is that they would have hung the tobacco up, and then they would have been a... Oh, is that it? No, it's not here anymore. And there would have been a wood burning stove, which would have dried out the tobacco. Let's get up, see if I can see the ceiling. You could probably get an extra floor on this. Certainly a spiral staircase. Yeah, I think it's great. Potential restoration project. The walls are absolutely huge and thick. I don't know what's under there. It looks like a concrete slab as well. I can see an artist's easel. There would have been doors on here. Wow, well, really? Yeah, right. Yeah, you've already got a double bed. Perfect. Let's get outside. Oh, you've got such beautiful oak trees all around and I'm just gonna come down because I want to show you the fence. Um, we're gonna have to have a look to see how much extra land there is. I don't believe it's that filled with the olives, but you do have these most beautiful oak trees. Oh, you really do. Yeah, you know. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna go down there in a minute, really. It's gonna give you a 360 pan. No, you can't see a house. I can see a barn on the top of the hill. I'm gonna show you the back elevation. All right, the building on the top left-hand corner is the tobacco tower. The one that we see in front of us, which has been rendered. And that is the garage area, which I will turn into, well, maybe a kitchen. And then right outside here, you've got your original oven. Yeah, right. Gonna get to the back of the house. Ooh. Oh, it comes with a caravan. Oh. <laughs> right. Well, you could move into the caravan, couldn't you? Move into the caravan and stock your work. Oh, I'm stuck in some big brambles. Oh, look at that. Oh, my. got one hand. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, look at that old wood. Oh, I would probably want to save some of that. Oh, look at that. I don't know where that came from. Right, that would make wonderful panelling. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, there's a lot of it. All right, if I come back, you can see now the garage door. You wouldn't get anything now. You wouldn't get a car. You might get an old Fiat 500. But that's about it. Oh, there's a couple more rooms. Oh, they must be cantinas. Oh, look at the back of the house. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Oh, it's a little dream. A little dream in Umbria. Your little dream in... Uh, in Italy. Oh, let's get through the brambles. 
Oh, that, that little nook, that little window there. Right. Oh, let's, let's get in here. Okay, I don't know what we're going to see in here. Oh, another mattress. It's interesting. Oh, that's just a storage space. Yeah, there's not much you can do in there. I'd probably keep this and have have it as all my uh, gardening equipment and bits and pieces. Yeah, that's what I would do. Oh, it must be stunning in the summer. Absolutely stunning. Let's go. Oop. Oh, what's in here? Oh, right. That would have been a little trough. Ah, oh, you might have to would have some goats or something in here. Oh. Yeah, there's nothing really of any interest. Again, you've got oh well one thing I can see you know, for those that know is that there's also a steel here as well. And if I come down, you can see that basically they've had some new wood put in. So it has had quite a lot of work. Ah, oh, beautiful. Beautiful wall, just really is just stunning. Yeah, again, I'm not quite sure what one would do with this. I don't know whether you could come down. Again, I would uh, uh, look at probably having that as uh, more storage. Beautiful patina on that door, really is just stunning. Right, let's get round. Yeah, you see the barn? I think that could be really beautiful. Mm. I absolutely do. I really do think it could be gorgeous. Let's get over here. Back into the setting sun. Oh, a few more minutes. Wonderful. Oh, isn't it beautiful? I think I've used beautiful about five times in the last three minutes. <laughs> right. This is a pig pen. Yeah. I don't know what that is. I'll show you that when we get out. Now I've got the keys. I'm going to see where we can get in through this door. Hang on. Can we get in? Well done. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, again, it's basically, well, it's not subterranean, that's for sure. Oh. 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 <laughs> well, that's pretty huge. So you've got three cantinas which would have been for animals at one stage and I will keep them the way they are and just uh, just use them you know as storage areas for gardening equipment I think that's the only thing you could do with them I mean the ceiling height is not even two meters you know six feet all right let's get out of here and that's what I wanted to show you on the return Ah, I think that's quite interesting. I don't know what that is. I really don't. Would it have been a fire? Yeah, maybe. Could have been a barbecue area. Yeah, it looks like it's got a, like a little chimney on top. Let me just pull up and have a look at that. Yeah. Ah, oh, beautiful. Right, are we going to go and have a look at the other house? See the ground floor, see what we can find. Of course we are. Okay, I'm just gonna walk down the side of the annex and uh, let's get back down here. I'm not sure whether we can get in or not. Uh, yeah, luckily the snakes are hibernating. Oh, I can see the fencing on the left-hand side. 
and I'm just going to get into the corner. More wood. Oh, right. Okay, we're in. Oh. Okay, beautiful stonework. There's our B day. Yeah, and then we lift up, we've got some joists. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And an old motorbike. <laughs> Almost needs, uh, well, potentially a little bit more restoration than the house. Oh. Oh, I just love trees. What would we do without trees? Well, we wouldn't have a planet. That's what we would do. Okay. Sun setting or set over Umbria and Tuscany. The land is actually further from where you saw the fence today. I have a land map. If you would like a copy of that, please send an email to info at abodeitaly.com. This house was bought over 20 years ago at the height of the market. You know, we're talking a long time. They actually paid a lot of money for it. Um, it was originally on the market about five years ago at 425,000 euros. It is 224 square meters. It has a guest house, and that's including the guest house, but the other part of it is approximately 15 square meters, and that is the little barn. 9,000 square meters of your own private garden, veggie patch. Oh, I've just seen that the buried gas tank is over there. And to be honest with you, with a little bit of work, and I mean really a little bit of work, a new kitchen, a sink or basin for the bathroom, a central heating boiler, a spruce, a big tub of wax for the flooring, some painting, you know, 25,000, you could be in living the dream. Or you could move into the caravan. I haven't been inside. And basically you could do a full up restoration and end up with a beautiful luxury house. We are in Umbria, not Tuscany. And so therefore there is a very good possibility that you will be able to have a nice swimming pool. And I would probably have it somewhere just over there so I can watch the sunset. I think it's fantastic. It's got gas tank. It has a well. It has electricity. It is fenced. You have electric gates. You are in this just sublime Umbrian Tuscan countryside, as I mentioned. Cortona in Tuscany, 30 minutes away. Nearest shops, no more than 10 minutes away. Umbertide in Umbria, 30 minutes away. Nearest airport, Perugia, within an hour. It's got a lot going for it, including beautiful oak trees. This property can be bought today for 249,000 euros. I almost fell over then. <laughs> I almost fell over. And if I hadn't purchased our beautiful house, which we're restoring in the moment, and I will basically, there will be videos of that coming shortly, I would be tempted. I really would. And that's why I'm giving this to you. My name is Nick Ferrand and these are my one take Italian property tours. I hope you enjoyed this tour. You know, it's, I personally think it's a great house in a great location with a great price and maybe even a little bit of wiggle room as well. I really do. For all of you who have subscribed to this channel, I love you all. Thank you so much. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, would you be so kind and just 
push those buttons and that would help me so I can help you. And one more thing, it's been very busy over Christmas with lots of family things going on. If I have not replied to your comment, I will get to your comment sooner or later. Just please bear with me. I'll see you on the next tour. Take care. Ciao.